श्री डेरेक बीवाब्रेन तृणमूल Please, 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 direct. Just after independence, in undivided Andhra Pradesh, those who owned agricultural land were. How do they show how well they are, how well off they are, how important they are in that area? They had a very interesting way of showing. They didn't show; it's just that they had the number of bullocks you owned, the number of pairs of bullocks you owned. So, if you owned two pairs of bullocks, you were quite well off. If you owned four pairs of bullocks, you were even better off. and a few families owned six or eight pairs of bullocks so one such family owned eight pairs of bullocks so good so far but one day one of these bullocks one of these bull, uh, these uh, the the animals they went totally nutty and the bullock actually gorged a lady in the stomach the lady was carrying a baby or a one year old boy dropped the child obviously the lady was taken to the hospital and the lady passed away and the child lost his mother at the age of 1 this is your story sir of an early loss and from that early loss you have done whatever you have done which we can find in not only wikipedia entries but in a glorious career you have had and i don't want to go there today because i think we have lots of speakers so we'll all talk about that so i'm sure that will make a good story for your autobiography which you must write i've had many experiences with you but the one a few i'm going to talk about today and i certainly don't expect answers for any of those but maybe one day you will write an autobiography so this child who lost his mother in these tragic circumstances from this agricultural family cut to september 20 2020 to me that was a very important day in my outlook about you and maybe you'll answer that question some day in your autobiography on september the 20th 2020 the day this house pass the farm bills you were not on the chair you were not sir you're the only vice president who has served four terms as a rajya sabha mp you're the only vice president who has visited every indian state include all 28 states including the states in the northeast sir these we know but some day you will give us the answers because when i first came here you used to sit this side and i remember on the 2nd of september 2013 i think your seat was just here on the 2nd of september 2013 you made a passionate speech on petrol and diesel yeah yeah so one day you will tell us in your autobiography why then let's not go there <laughs> sir 
on the 1st of March 2013, I remember one more speech of yours. You led the discussion, Mr. Jetley was that side, and you made an intervention for about five, six minutes on phone tapping. We tried Pegasus last few years, but we didn't get a discussion, sir. And you have really given us one piece of advice, opposition and government, is that talk to each other and solve. I think that's the one take I, we take away, that you always, in the meetings, you know, sometimes what happens in, in chambers stays in chambers, but you used to always say, talk. And you would talk in the same tone. You talk to the government. Talk and solve. You talk to opposition. Talk and solve. And nobody is perfect. You would have tried hard to get our Honorable Prime Minister to perhaps answer one question in your full tenure. That didn't happen. Sir, earlier today, some point, a point was made about productivity in Rajya Sabha. Yes, sir. You are the chairman of the Rajya Sabha. We want to congratulate you. If you look at the productivity numbers and the number of bills passed, sir, you were there. But there's another side to this argument. And as you leave today, sir, we would urge you, because you have at least... 20 more years to offer in public life. So these are the thoughts to urge you, because there's another school of thought who think that parliament has become a deep, dark chamber. And you've often advised us, send bills to committees, why only six out of, six out of 10, no, why only one out of 10 bills are going, send bills, scrutinize these bills, and, sir, so these are issues which I'm sure you will address because I know autobiography or no autobiography, you will speak your mind and you will guide us. Sir, of all the happy things we remember is the great food you served us and the great host you are, not only you, but I think equal credit should go to Mrs. Naidu. The wonderful, every time you hosted any MP, all of us in the Vice President's house, sir, it was absolutely, it was absolutely wonderful. And uh, since I eat mostly non-vegetarian food, that became even better. Sir, we wish you, on behalf of my party, the All India Trinamool Congress, and everybody, we wish you and Mrs. Naidu happy years happy years ahead and as you I, I remember once mentioned that you are the chief outside but you have a home minister at home who actually controls whatever is going on sir the prime minister uh, very nicely put it in his speech where he said every word you said was is revered and this is preferred yes sir we'd like to add to that sir we wanted you to stay here longer because we hope your going was actually deferred. Thank you, sir.